Yeah. Let me get my freak on. Yeah. Are you ready? Welcome to the 2020 Buzzy Awards. I'm Charlie Snelson, your host, and now a special message from Athletics Director Krista Montague. Greetings Yellow Jackets. I hope my message finds you well and staying healthy. So much has happened since we last saw you and on behalf of our university coaches and staff, please know how much we miss you on campus. Thanks for doing your part by staying home and following the guidelines to keep yourself and others healthy. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of those on the front lines carrying out essential duties and roles, those who are not able to stay home during this increasingly challenging time and major disruption in our daily lives. Thank you for all you're doing. Welcome to our version of the 2020 Virtual Buzzies. The Buzzies is one of our favorite events each year. It's a time where we come together in April and honor all of our student athletes, coaches, and others for their amazing accomplishments throughout the academic year. Although this season has been cut short and our spring sports have not been able to finish their season, we still felt it was important to come together and honor those student athletes so deserving of this recognition. Congratulations to all the nominees and the award winners for this year's Buzzies. Thank you so much for representing us so well. I quickly want to thank a few people for helping us pull off this event this year. Our sports information directors, Charlie Snelson and James Catlin, and also Andrew Bonner, our operations coordinator. I also want to thank all of our MSCB faculty, coaches, and staff, including our chancellor, Dr. Dan Edelman, for your support throughout this year. Our student athletes are able to thrive under your leadership and under the help of our faculty, staff, and coaches. We could not move forward and we would not have the successful and rewarding experiences we do without this support, so thank you. I'd like to give a shout out to our parents, boosters, supporters, fans, volunteers, and community members. Thank you for being an important part of our Yellow Jacket extended family. Your positive contributions to our students and programs and coaches are critical in the overall success, which we share with you tonight in our Buzzy Awards. 
My final thank you and most important thank you goes out to our seniors. I want to thank you for choosing MSU Billings. I know our spring sports seniors had their season cut short and I'm very proud that you will have the opportunity to come back next year if you choose to. I hope you do and know that we're here to help you if you do make that decision. Seniors, we hope your experience here was a positive and successful one, but we know the best is yet to come for you. It has truly been an honor to have you part of our team and we wish you all the best in the years ahead of you. We hope that you will keep in touch through the various ways uh, through social media or our alumni association or just by stopping by the offices anytime. We love to see you. We love to have you come back, watch for alumni events, and we're just really proud that you will always be Yellow Jackets for life. Seniors, the 2020 commencement has been postponed to December 19th, 2020. We hope that if you were planning to participate in the spring commencement that you will be able to come back to campus for the December celebration. We certainly hope to see you there. To all of our student athletes, coaches, and staff that will be returning in the fall, thank you for staying strong and we cannot wait to see you in August or September whenever you do report back to campus. Thank you all for tuning in to our 2020 Buzzy celebration. We hope you enjoy it. Stay well, be healthy, and go Jackets. Greetings Yellow Jackets. It is time to draw the winner of our annual raffle. Each year, our coaches and student athletes sell raffle tickets to help raise money for our program. Money that we raise goes to things like scholarships and also for gear or equipment that we otherwise could not afford. So we really wanna thank everyone who bought a raffle ticket this year, also to all of our coaches and student athletes who worked hard to sell them. This year, there's four fabulous trips that the raffle win winner will be able to choose from once you're able to start traveling again. So I've got Buzz here today. Thanks, Buzz, for joining us. He is going to help us draw our lucky winner. All right, Buzz. Good job, Buzz. Okay. It looks like this year's winner is from women's basketball. Sold this ticket. Doug Johnson. So Doug, congratulations on winning this year's raffle. We will be in touch with you soon on how you can claim your prize. Leading off the show for the 2020 Buzzy Awards is the award for Baseball Player of the Year. And here are the nominees. Senior Tanner Cantwell started 18 games at first base after redshirting last season. He was West Region Player of the Week in March and hit 365, which was sixth best in the GNAC. He also led the conference in doubles and finished third in runs batted in. He led the Jackets in doubles and on-base percentage and recorded four RBIs on two occasions. Senior Sam Muscott was the Jackets' most consistent arm out of the bullpen in 2020. In five appearances, he had three wins, which was tied for number one in the GNAC and led the team with a 1.35 ERA. He also struck out 16 batters and walked just six. Senior Daniel Cipriano was named West Region Player of the Week in February and started all 18 games at designated hitter for MSUB. Cipriano hit 338 and led the conference with seven home runs, which was 16th best in the NCAA. He also led the league in runs scored, runs batted in, total bases, and slugging percentage. And now a word from MSUB head baseball coach Derek Waddups. Senior class of 2020, congratulations on a pandemic-shortened, marvelous season. Obviously, we didn't get to finish what we started as a group and you individually as well but congratulations on your academic success from the degrees earned to your community engagement at the elementary school with pen pal letters and to putting our baseball program on a national scene receiving votes taking two out of three at point loma um, to open the season in california and also the big sweep of a nationally ranked opponent here in town in billings as we had that preseason series with colorado school of the mines not to mention the individual accomplishments of GNAC Players of the Week, West Region Players of the Week. You collectively as a group have done many marvelous things. And the exciting thing is what outstanding people and men you are, knowing that that will continue well on into the future. Once a jacket, always a jacket. Congratulations and thank you. And the winner is... Daniel Cipriano. Our next Buzzy Award is for Women's Soccer Player of the Year. Senior captain Amanda Hemmen was a second team all-conference selection at center back for the Jackets. She started all 17 matches and recorded career highs in goals, assists, and points. She also led the team in minutes played and had 10 shot attempts. 
Emmon was named Academic All-American for the second straight year. Senior defender Courtney Shovelin made 17 starts and was an All-GNAC honorable mention. She finished third on the team in total minutes and scored her first career goal against St. Martin's on Senior Day. She also posted 31 shot attempts with 20 shots on goal. Senior Alexa Yakalucci garnered all GNAC honorable mention for the second time in her career and led the Yellow Jackets with 13 points and 4 goals. She was also 5th in the GNAC in assists and led the Jackets with 45 shot attempts at the midfield position. She recorded a career high 4 points against St. Martins and scored the game winning goal. And now a message from women's soccer head coach Stephen Cavallo. Hello class of 2020. It's a real bummer that your final semester at MSUB had to end this way, but you still made it through four years, and congratulations on your upcoming graduation. It'd be impossible to put everything that you accomplished into one message, but I want to make sure that as you move on to this next stage in your life, that you reflect on the fact that you have laid down our program's pillars of success, of trust, commitment, and care. The trust that you all showed in the process, within yourselves, within each other, and within me as your coach and our coaching staff, help move the program forward. Your commitment to schoolwork, to come into every season in top physical shape, to stay with it during the most challenging of times, to stay rooted to the program, and your care, your care to the school, to the university, to your community, um, you really help show the privilege and pride it takes to be you know, part of our, of our program. Thanks again for everything that you accomplished. You will be missed, and always remember, stay planted, never buried. Congratulations. And the winner is Amanda Hemmen. Next on the ballot is Softball Player of the Year. Sophomore Skylar Jenkins led the Yellow Jackets in batting average, home runs, runs batted in, and slugging percentage this spring, and held a 532 on base percentage, which was third highest in the GNAC. Jenkins hit a walk-off home run against Carroll College in game one of a doubleheader then hit three additional home runs in game two to tie the single game school record. Junior outfielder Allie Hughes caught fire after the conference schedule began and finished third on the squad in batting average and second in runs batted in. Hughes also hit six doubles and three home runs. She appeared in 23 games. Senior third baseman Peyton Reynolds hit 395 in 17 games for the Yellow Jackets in 2020. With 15 hits, Reynolds managed the second highest home run total on the squad and finished with 11 runs batted in and an impressive 7-11 slugging percentage. We turn now to words of wisdom from the MSUB softball coaching staff. Thank you to our seniors for your dedication and commitment to excellence as a Yellow Jacket softball player. You have left a significant mark on the program and have paved the way for future Yellow Jackets for years to come. We are thankful for the memories we've made with you. Thanks again for all of you've done for Yellow Jacket Softball. We look forward to your futures and can't wait to see your continued success in life. Congratulations on graduating. We're very proud of you. Maddie, what a journey we have been on together. It was such a pleasure to watch you grow as a pitcher and as a leader. I will never forget the game against Chico State where you threw your absolute best game and got the well-deserved win. I will definitely miss all the van rides, the bullpens, and everything in between but I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. I'm so proud of you and you're going to be greatly missed. Well, I have so many amazing things to say about you, Jolene House, and my favorite memory is your diving catch against Central Washington and then watching you pop your own shoulder back into place after. Uh, it's been such an honor getting to coach you and just watch how you handle all things in life with such grace and tenacity and can't wait to see what you do in the future. So proud of you, congratulations. And the winner is Skylar Jenkins. We now turn to the Buzzy Ward for Volleyball Player of the Year. Junior Bailey Monk played in 30 matches and 115 sets in 2019 and was a first team all GNAC selection at right side hitter for the Jackets. Monk led the team in kills and was second in digs and the only Yellow Jacket to finish in the top 20 in the conference in both categories. She also led the team with 15 double doubles and marked the 10th best single season mark in MSUB history in block assists. Junior Maddie Vigil played 30 matches and 115 sets at outside hitter in 2019. She finished second on the team in kills and third in digs. She also tied the team lead in service aces and had a career high 29 digs against Rocky Mountain College. Junior Joelle Mahold had a stellar first season with the Jackets at middle blocker. She led the Yellow Jackets and finished third best in the conference for hitting percentage, fifth best in a single season in MSUB history. 
She was also fourth on the team in kills and had a team high 105 total blocks. And now a special message from MSUB head volleyball coach Casey Williams. Congratulations to our Volleyball Player of the Year, along with all of the other nominees and winners tonight. I am proud of the hard work, dedication, and time that all of our student athletes put in. To the seniors, thank you so much for everything you have done for MSUB. It has been a pleasure to watch your journey, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. And the winner is Bailey Monk. Next is the award for Men's Basketball Player of the Year. Sophomore Brendan Howard led the Yellow Jackets with 20 points per game at forward and just over seven rebounds. Howard posted five double-doubles and was named second team all-conference following his win of GNAC Freshman of the Year last season. Senior Tyler Green added more memorable moments to his storied career at MSUB this season. Green hit the game-winning shot at home against Central Washington and led the conference in both free throw percentage and three-pointers made. He finished third on the team in scoring and fourth in rebounding with a nearly 40% three-point shooting percentage. Junior Zaron Richmond started 20 games at forward this season and averaged 15 points a game, good for second on the team. He also led the squad in rebounds per game as well as blocks and made 28 shots from beyond the arc. And the winner is Brendan Howard. Our next Buzzy Award is for Triathlon Athlete of the Year. Freshman Madison Chavez competed in all five races and placed fifth in the Southern Hills Triathlon for MSEB. She also took 12th in the Division II field at the NCAA West Region Qualifier and 18th at the NCAA East Region Qualifier. At the NCAA Championships, Chavez ranked 21st in Division II National. Junior Maddie Terwilliger made a smooth transition from cross country and track and field over to triathlon in the fall and competed in four races. She finished 12th in the Southern Hills Triathlon and was 14th in the Division II field at the NCAA West Region Qualifier. Terwilliger also appeared and completed two legs on the NCAA National Championship event. And the winner is... Madison Chavez! We go next to Women's Basketball Player of the Year. Senior Captain Jeanan Lemlin was named Honorable Mention All-Conference at guard this season for the Jackets. She set a school record with 10 made three-pointers in a game in February and was the only player to start all 30 games. She led the team and ranked fifth in the GNAC in minutes played. She also ranked first on the team in steals, third in scoring, and first in three-pointers. Sophomore Taryn Shelley earned Honorable Mention All-GNAC at the post position in 2019-20. She finished first on the team and ninth in the conference in points per game and led the squad with 12 double-doubles. She was also fourth in the league in both rebounding and blocks. She scored a season-high 29 points against Cal Poly Pomona on January 2nd. Junior Hannah Collins was named Honorable Mention All-GNAC at point guard this season. She ranked 11th in the GNAC and second on the team in points per game and was also second on the team in assists. Collins was a 79% free throw shooter and started 24 games. And now a word from MSUB women's basketball head coach Kevin Wooden. Hello everyone, I hope you and your families are safe and doing well. This was obviously a difficult way to end our year, but I am confident we will all overcome this challenge and MSUB will come back stronger than ever. Regarding our three women's basketball seniors, Janessa Williams, Taylor Cunningham, and Jean Ann Lemlin, I was very fortunate to work with each of them and have them in our program. They represent everything you need from a senior, and here are three things I believe they did very well. First, they were great teammates. They understand and respect how important it was to be leaders and role models in our program. Being a team captain isn't easy, but they were committed to improving our team on a daily basis. Secondly, they were great students and community members. Each of them earned multiple all-conference academic honors, and all of them will graduate later this spring. And finally, they had an amazing work ethic. They put in the necessary time, both in season and out of season, to get better. Our program success is dependent upon our seniors stepping up, and Janessa Taylor and Jeanan certainly did that for us. Congratulations to all of them. Go Jackets. And the winner is Jeanan Lemlin. The next award is for Men's Golf Player of the Year, and here are the nominees. Senior Captain Garrett Wooden played all six team events this year and led the squad with a scoring average of 223 shots per event in the spring. 
Wooden was also second on the team in scoring average in the fall and notched a season best single round score of 70 on October 14th at the Sierra Central Wildcat Invite. Senior Peyton Stott competed in six team events and managed a single round season best score of 70 at the St. Martin's Invite in September. Stott achieved his season best three round total of 217 strokes at the same event. Junior Caleb Trost competed in all six events in his third season with the team. He averaged just under 221 strokes through the fall and posted a single round best score of 70 in October at the Western Washington Invite. Trost had a three round best score of 214 at the Concordia Invite in October. And the winner is Garrett Wooden. Next is the Buzzy Award for Women's Golf Player of the Year. Sophomore Tierney Mesmer competed in all five rounds this season and was third best on the team in the scoring average category in the fall. Mesmer posted a season single best round score of 80 at the Tim Tierney Pioneer Shootout on March 3rd. Sophomore Kinsey Irvin competed in all five team events and averaged a team high 164 two round score through four rounds in the fall. Her season best single round score of 76 came in October at the Concordia Invitational. Junior Sydney Rochford competed in four events and averaged 169 strokes per event in the fall. She marked a season best single round score of 82 at the RJGA shootout in September and achieved an event best 165 at the same event. Before we announce the winner, here's a special message from head coach of golf, Jeff Allen. Good evening, Yellow Jacket athletes. It's unfortunate that we are coming to you in this format tonight but it's very important that we recognize a successful year in Yellow Jacket Athletics. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the one departing senior from the men's golf team, Peyton Stott. Peyton came to Billings as a junior transfer, and Peyton, I just wanted to uh, personally thank you for two great years as a Yellow Jacket. Uh, it was a true honor to coach you. You're absolutely everything that a coach wants in a player on and off the golf course. Um, I really, really look forward to all your success in your future, and I can't wait to get back out on the golf, golf course with you uh, very soon. Congratulations to everyone tonight who's won an award, Jackets for Life. And the winner is Tierney Mesmer. Up next is the Buzzy Award for Men's Soccer Player of the Year. Junior Samuele Fola was named first team all-conference after starting 16 games for the Jackets. Fola totaled four shot attempts and two shots on goal, and ranked eighth on the team in total minutes among position players. Fola was a crucial member of the defensive unit as a center back and helped the Jackets hold opponents to 24 goals against in the fall. Junior Shantek Pedrosian was a force at midfield for the Jackets and earned second team all GNAC honors after starting 17 games. He ranked second on the team in points and goals and tied for the team lead in assists. Pedrosian scored the game-winning goal at Seattle Pacific on a penalty kick and recorded six shot attempts against the University of Mary. Junior captain Luca Battistati took first team all-conference honors at Defender this season and played in 19 contests, logging the most minutes among position players on the squad. Battistati contributed four shot attempts and helped the Jackets hold their opponents to 24 goals against on the year. And the winner is Luca Battistati. We now turn to the Buzzy Award for Men's Track and Field Athlete of the Year. Senior thrower Forrest Cross took second place in shot put at the Merle Hansen Open and totaled five top five placements between shot put and weight throw for the Jackets this spring. At the GNAC Indoor Championships, Cross took seventh place in shot put and 11th in weight throw. Senior jumper Isaiah Girard holds two school records posted last season and this year competed in three events at the GNAC Indoor Championships. He took 7th place in high jump, 9th in the 4x400-meter relay, and 19th in long jump. He has five top five event finishes, including second place in high jump at the Bobcat Preview in Bozeman. Senior sprinter Mason Schramm was exceptionally fast during indoor track season and took home first place in the 60-meter dash at the Merle Hansen Open preliminaries in January. He had five top five finishes in the 60-meter dash out of seven appearances. Here's a special message from head track and field and cross country coach, John Wool. Thank you to our 2020 seniors. As a group, you've rewritten the record books and overcome countless obstacles, and you've truly embodied the message 
of Edgar Allan Guest's poem, It Couldn't Be Done. This is one of my favorite poems. I want to recite it for you real quickly. So here we go. Somebody said it couldn't be done, but he with a chuckle replied that maybe it couldn't, but he would be one who wouldn't say so till he'd tried. So he buckled right in with a trace of a grin on his face. If he had worried, he hid it. He started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. Somebody scoffed, oh, you'll never do that. At least no one has ever done it. But he took off his coat, and he took off his hat, and the first thing we knew, he'd begun it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin, without any doubting or quit it, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done, and he did it. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands that prophesy failure. There are thousands to point out to you one by one the dangers that await to assail you. But just buckle in with a bit of a grin. Just take off your coat and go to it. Just start to sing as you tackle the thing that cannot be done, and you'll do it. Thank you to our 2020 seniors. Keep on doing the things that cannot be done. And the winner is Mason Schramm. For Women's Track and Field Player of the Year, we have these three nominees. Senior Nikki Aiken took 10th place in the GNAC Indoor Track Championships 3000 meter event after posting a new career best time of 10 minutes, 38 seconds. She came in second place in the same event at the Merle Hansen Open in February and posted a career best mile time and ninth place result at the Snake River Open in January. Senior Brenna Beckett set MSUB school records in both long jump and triple jump in January at the Dave Little Alumni Mile. She took first place at the meet in both events as well. Beckett also impressed at the 200 meter dash and competed in the 4x400 meter relay, distance medley relay, long jump and triple jump at the GNAC Indoor Championships with two top 10 finishes. Sophomore Mariah May was an effective thrower for the Jackets this season and had two top five results in weight throw and shot put. At the GNAC Indoor Championships, May took eighth place in the conference in weight throw and 18th place in shot put. Her best result in shot put was a fifth place mark in February at the Merle Hansen Open. And the winner is Brenna Beckett. Next is the Buzzy Award for Men's Cross Country Player of the Year. Sophomore Ace Ackerman competed in all five meets and posted three top 70 times. He had a team best 13th place finish at the Hard Rocker Cross Country Classic in September and placed 42nd at the Rocky Mountain College Invite. Freshman Bryant Edgerton made an impact in his rookie season and competed in all five events in the fall. Edgerton ran a season best 21st place at the Roy Griak Invitational in Minneapolis in September and closed the year with three top 100 finishes. Senior Ronald Venema competed in four races including the GNAC Championships where he ran a career best time and placed 56th in the large field. And the winner is Ronald Venema. Next is the Buzzy Award for Women's Cross Country Player of the Year. Senior Nikki Aiken was an impact runner once again and competed in all five races in the fall. She placed highest on the team in every race during the season. She also took first place in the Hard Rocker Cross Country Classic at Robbinsdale Park on September 9th and had four top 50 finishes. Sophomore Sierra Durbin competed in all five races in 2019 and posted three top 100 finishes, including the Hard Rocker Classic, Rocky Mountain College Invite, and the GNAC Championships. She achieved her season best time at Amon Park on September 13th. Sophomore Kaylee Stoppel competed in all five races for the Jackets and had three top 60 finishes including a 14th place at the Hard Rocker Classic in South Dakota. Stoppel came in 57th at the GNAC Championships at Amon Park in Billings. And the winner is Nikki Aiken. Several MSUB athletes were nominated for Comeback Player of the Year, a category dedicated to a player who overcame a significant injury or hardship to have success on their team. Nominees for this category included Alexa Iacolucci, women's soccer, Maddie Lincoln, softball, Shantik Bedrosian, men's soccer, Will Heward, baseball, and Emily Gaines, women's soccer. And the winner is Maddie Lincoln, softball. Lincoln suffered a knee injury in fall of last year and played through it, and then eventually went to have surgery to repair the damage in the offseason. Lincoln pushed through months of rehab and returned this season to be a team leader in innings pitched.
The Cheerleader of the Year Award is presented to a member of the MSUB's co-ed cheer team and stunt team who displayed the most dedication and commitment to his or her team throughout the 2019-20 season. This year's Buzzy for Cheerleader of the Year goes to senior Jessica Gapé. Congratulations. The Student Athlete Advisory Committee Awards are voted on by members of the Buzzy Committee and presented to one male and one female who have shown outstanding dedication and contribution to the organization. This year's Buzzy for Male Outstanding Student Athlete Advisory Committee member goes to Senior Kyle McLaughlin. This year's award for Female Outstanding Student Athlete Advisory Committee member goes to Senior Kaylin Sando. Congratulations. The Student Staff Support Worker of the Year Buzzy Award is presented to the student workers adjudged to have made the most outstanding contribution to Yellow Jacket Athletics throughout the year. This year's Buzzies for Student Support Workers of the Year go to Will Heward, Rachel Lithgow, and Emma Tucker. Thank you for all your hard work. The Yellow Jacket Award for Service is presented to an individual or group displaying dedication, commitment, and passion for Yellow Jacket athletics. This year's Buzzy for Yellow Jacket Award for Service goes to women's basketball for their community involvement culminating in the elementary school basketball game, which is up for the NCAA Division II Award of Excellence. The Fan of the Year Award is presented to the group or individual judged to have been the most supportive of Yellow Jacket athletics throughout the 2019-20 season. The winner of this award shall be a person who shows his or her support through attendance at athletic events, engagement with athletic teams, and interest shown in the athletics programs. This year's Buzzy for Fan of the Year goes to Will Moody. The Game Event of the Year recognizes the most outstanding single game or event by a team or player in a given year. And now, the nominees for this award. First, Women's Basketball is nominated for their game on February 22nd. Senior guard Jeanne Lemlin connected for a school record 10 three-pointers in a win over Seattle Pacific University. Lemlin scored a career-high 32 points and made 10 of 12 attempts, surpassing her own record-tying performance set earlier in the year. Head coach Kevin Wooden said after the game, Jeanne was in the zone again tonight. She has put in a lot of time into becoming a scorer for us, but to make 10 threes in a single game was just ridiculous. Lemlin was too shy of the conference single game record. Our next nominee is women's soccer. On September 28th, Alexa Yakalucci and Kylie Sando scored to lift MSUB over Concordia University 2-1 at Yellow Jacket Field. The comeback victory was the first time the Jackets have defeated the defending conference champions in school history. Head coach Stephen Cavallo said, Alexa had a great response after halftime to score on the PK. Courtney Shovlin had, I think, one of her best games I have ever seen her play in a Yellow Jacket jersey at left back. It was a total team effort today. Everyone chipped in to get the win. Next up is women's triathlon. Kevin Bierke was named the first head coach of the team in its inaugural season, and two athletes, Madison Chavez and Maddie Terwilliger, competed in MSUB's first-ever collegiate triathlon in Hot Springs, South Dakota, on August 31, 2019. Though the team didn't have enough athletes to earn a team score, it was a successful debut and Chavez took fifth place. Coach Bierke commented after the race, It was good to get the season started in competition against established college triathletes. Both Madison and Maddie shook off their first race timidness quickly, and I was proud. Our next nominee is baseball. On February 22nd, the Yellow Jackets hit 10 home runs in a doubleheader win over Colorado School of Mines at freshly shoveled Pertz Field. Despite the fact that the Ore Diggers were ranked nationally the previous season, MSUB broke out for 32 runs in two games and went on to sweep the three-game series with a 10-3 win the next day. Head coach Derek Waddups was impressed with the performance, saying after the game, both of our starting pitchers made quality starts and then offensively, just wow. Our final nominee for game event of the year is volleyball. MSUB's chief rival is the Rocky Mountain College Batlin Bears, and the volleyball team picked up a sweep in the season series against RMC with a 3-1 win on September 23rd at Fortin Center, followed by a 3-1 victory at Alterowitz Gymnasium on October 22nd. It was the first time the Yellow Jackets swept the Bears since 2007. Casey Williams said after the game, I thought we did a great job of implementing our game plan. We had great production from everyone. And the winner for Game Event of the Year goes to Women's Basketball. Congratulations. Our final Buzzy Award for 2020 is for Moment Play of the Year. 
The moment play of the year is presented in recognition of the most outstanding moment within the scope of a game or event during the season. From game-winning goals to walk-off hits, there were numerous memorable moments among this year's nominees. Our first nominee comes from the sport of softball. On January 31st, the Jackets swept a doubleheader against Carroll College at home, and Skylar Jenkins dazzled at the plate. In Game 1, Jenkins hit a walk-off home run. Then she smashed three more home runs in Game 2, tying an MSUB school record. Next up, from women's basketball, Taylor Cunningham. Later proving to be essential in clinching a spot in the GNAC championships, the Jackets trailed in Fairbanks with just seconds left on the clock. That's when Taylor Cunningham took a pass at the three-point line and drained the shot with 1.6 seconds left, sending MSUB home winners. Our next nominee involves Teo Lamar in men's soccer. Lamar ran up the right side of the pitch at Northwest Nazarene and split the defense with a curling shot to the far post. Lamar's goal ended up to be the game winner in a 1-0 shutout on the road. Women's Indoor Track and Field Brenna Beckett broke not one, but two MSUB school records in the same meet. She also took home first place on the podium in both long jump and triple jump, vaulting her status as an elite jumper on the team. Men's basketball's highlight moment of the season came at home against Central Washington. On January 11th, senior Tyler Green let a long three-point shot go from nearly half court, and as time expired, it dropped in, giving MSUB an improbable win. And he doesn't. He goes 0 for 2 and 1 for 5 with the buzzer coming up. It's good! Tyler Green with the long range three point shot. Gets mobbed by his teammates. Unbelievable. Tyler Green banks it in. And the winner for the 2020 Buzzy Awards Moment Play of the Year goes to Tyler Green in men's basketball. On behalf of all the staff at Montana State University Billings, from our couches to yours, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the fall.